first time kissing everyone there. It's been nice to have you on the show. And, uh, <laughs> Danny, can I just say straight away congratulations for Saturday. It was your first ten, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Thank you, so much. And, you know, I don't understand how it was your first ten because I've had you down as tens from Every week. definitely week, week two. I mean, he's a oh, natural, isn't he? It was. It was. Natural, it was yeah. well worth the wait, though. Mm. It was appreciated, and we. I mean, we worked so tirelessly through through the training. How many hours a day do you do? Uh, it depends. I mean, we do from 6 to 12. Wow. Last last week for that, we actually had to fit quite a lot in because we had the Pride of Britain Awards Monday, we had the Poppy Appeal Day in Covent mm. Garden on the Thursday. Then you do your It Takes Two. So it depends what comes up in the yeah, week. Yeah. But we did 22 hours in two days last week. Wow. Well, but, I mean, it's, it's not, not like, you know, real people have real jobs and it's good fun, do you know what I mean? Compared do you, to what feel, do you feel the do. pressure of... Obviously, you're the favourite, and everyone's like, oh, you know, who's going to come second? Because it's kind of like everyone's assuming you. No, Do you I, feel the pressure? It was of lovely that? when people say oh, you're a favourite, and, you know, from that first week, the dance went really well, and we had three weeks to rehearse that mm. initial first one. And so it went in, went, we went in strong, because OT wants nothing less. Yeah. And, um, and it, that went really well, but then you're pinned as the favourite, and then suddenly. You, there's, no chance, there's no chance. There's no chance you're going to win yeah. because no one wants a favourite yeah. to win. Yeah, no, so, always want an underdog. Yeah, but yeah. then at the same time, like the competition has got so good now, mm. and everyone on it is fantastic. So I think it has levelled well, out. Most you know. people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, being a live show, unlike kind of acting where you're kind of re recording things over and over again, that that live appearance, I remember being so nervous, my knees bouncing up and down, and telling myself, I'm going to fall over, I'm going to forget my steps, and then you just have to put this like face on and go out there and, and just sort of. Brave it, you know. How do you feel? I about get, I oh, honestly, the nerves. I can't explain. And you know, I'm an actor, and performing is something I love doing. So yeah. I think I do manage to turn it on to performance because it's the, the result afterwards. Once you've done it, is the best feeling yes. ever. Yeah. But beforehand, I, I honestly you don't sleep the night. I've before, never yeah. known fe like fear like mm, it. Just mm. that the anxiety I get. I got, I, I've been home. I went into my f fiance, and she's like, "You okay?" I'm like, "Yeah, I just need like because you've got those moves mm, running yeah. around your head." And mm. like tonight, you choose on a Wednesday night, mm. Thursday morning, I'll wake up 2 o'clock in the morning, bang like that, just with this panic, because mm. you know you've only got one day left of rehearsal. Mm. Yeah, there. but you're an actor, and I've read that, that actually what you're doing when you're out there performing is you're acting the part of a dancer. Yeah, I'll, that's what I did initially. You've still got to remember all the steps. Yeah, mm. well, initially. Yeah, like, but it's, that's the only way you can get over the fear. That's it. I'll watch the other pros and stuff, and OT will send me videos of, of professionals, and this is what you're doing this week, this is the style. And you watch it, and I'll take the mick out of it during training, and I think I'm going too far. And OT's like, no, that's it. Mm. For something yeah. like the Paso yeah. Dobe yeah, yeah, we yeah, did, yeah. when it's very confident and powerful and uh, arrogant, so to do that character. when you're not quite sure what you're doing is, yeah. is quite tough. <laughs> and isn't it true as well that actually the bit you find really nerve wracking? is the bit there where you have to talk so to just Tess yourself. and Claudia because yeah, it's just you being you. For me, I've, I've never wanted to be in the business I'm in to be myself. And yeah. to, I've been so lucky to do what I do. And it's always been nice that it was a step outside of myself mm. when I did it. You know, I never did kind of Amjam as a kid. I wouldn't perform in front of my mates and yes, stuff because yeah, yeah. it wasn't... It was just, I didn't feel like it was accepted. Yeah. And I like played a lot of football as a kid, and it was like, you football, or do you want to, you know, sing, dance, and act? And I was like, well, it's much cooler to play footy. Mm. So any work I have done has always been when I've done it f properly as someone else being employed, yeah. when it's mainstream, you know, on television, mm. on, a, on a stage. Mm. And um, I think that's what. That's, yeah, it's always scared me being myself because yeah. I've You've been out of from all your fans. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.